Manipur observes International Women's Day today. Governor Dr. Najma Abdullah finds North is women more empowered than the rest of the country. Chief Minister Biren applauds the women of the state for their contributions on International Women's Day today. A team of Imphal West police arrests four culprits involved in the killing of Tokchom Tony Elias Jagat early this morning. Authorities concerned of the state government demolish illegal constructions along Imphal riverbanks today. And RDNPR Minister T.H. Biswajit inaugurates a Bailey Bridge and four roads today. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English News. Impact News wishes all our women viewers a very happy International Women's Day today. I'm Joyce Shuvisham with the top stories and latest news at this hour. Manipur joins the world in observing International Women's Day today. The observance event was organized by the state government at Manipur Raj Bhavan today. Speaking on the occasion, Governor Najma A. Habtullah expressed that women of the northeastern states of India is by and large more empowered in comparison to mainland India. She asserted that the state should take pride in their women who are economically more independent compared to their counterparts in other northeastern states. She said the women athletes of Manipur and and women in other prominent fields play a significant role in bringing honor and recognition to the state. Governor Natch Mahaptula further called on the women of the state not to be only employees but also to be job providers. Social Welfare Minister Nim Chakibgen, CAF and PD Minister Karam Sham, wife of the Speaker of Manipur Legislative Assembly, Y. Kem Chan, wives of other high-ranking officials in the state, women awardees in various fields and many women folk from across the state attended the event. 16 elderly women above the age of 60 years selected from each district were honoured by presenting them with gifts and mementos. Mime Play, Short Film and Shumang Lilas were also showcased on the event. The women in the North East have always been taken with respect and honour. And we have the world's largest market, the Emma market of women. This is something that we are, I am very proud. So what we need to do more, we have come to this stage, and today's Prime Minister's message is very, very appropriate, that it is not the empowerment of women, but empowerment and development led by women. We have to have women, not employees, but employers. Entrepreneurship is in the blood of women of Manipur. Chief Minister Nong Thombambirin has asserted that the BJP-led state government is initiating works with top priority to the women folk. The Chief Minister was speaking at the International Women's Day observance held under the theme Press for Progress, organized by BJP Mahila Morcha Manipur Pradesh at the auditorium of Manipur State Film Development Society today. Hundred elderly women from the hills and the valley sat on the dais and were honoured with gifts by the Chief Minister. Minister. The Chief Minister, Ministers and MLAs present at the observance did not go up the dais as a mug of respect to the women folk. Speaking on the occasion, Beren said, everyone must understand how much a women, especially the mothers, care and worry for their children. He lauded that it is the sacrifice and contributions of the women of the state that is bringing peace in the society. Biren maintains that ever since BJP came to power in the state, 11 accused in crime against women were punished by setting up a special court for the same. He said housing scheme of MOBC was turned into health scheme and benefits under the scheme were provided to the widows. Biren said the housing scheme under Pradhan Mantri Avas Yojana PMAY is not provided to people whose land documents do not include names of women. 
He said, expenses for inclusion of name of women in the documents are also being provided by the government. He maintains that all these are the initiatives of Prime Minister Narendra Modi led BJP government to uplift women. The Chief Minister also announced that 30 crore rupees are reserved for startup policy to provide self-employment opportunities to the youth of the state as it is impossible to provide white-collar jobs to each and every unemployed youth. Biren assured that the government will work for the welfare of the people. He appeals for forgiveness if the government commits any mistake, quoting that to error is human. Mama, no pissing, a quizzic, we are the massaging, so Luna can gay him. Aduna, a quay Napoleon Bonaparte Haram with them some money. Quizzic Suni, Quizzic Suleva, English, the Imam, I am the Inga Fazana Magamaga Santayaga. What is Hanaga set for the Gilevanga? She say him of Hare, Ban Legidre, Blockade Legidre, Strike Legidre, she imassing a super contribution. Sarkarzi, Hek Lapuga, send an attack with you. I practically in a sea. International women's day pang kopo kiwa nate. Ay koi di government si hek lakpo ka. Ihan han ba day koi na pizza ba priority si masing. Sil sa si maya. Koi si ako kuting thoro ka. Mi kuting thoro yah ni. Or kadi kung mama talo mating pang kusay na hukuda ni. Nang han mating pang ay han pang kiti ay. Ay han mating pang ba hukuda. Ay di kuting thoro ka na mi kuting thoro. Respect mi ba si si di maan dali na han ko. Or ba ay di maruta han na. Thank you on hara ka na hara ka dito. Maan hara ka na nung aile di mi kram tni. International Women's Day is being celebrated across the world today. It is a global celebration of the social, cultural, economic and political achievements of women. This year's theme is Time is Now, Rural and Urban Activists Transforming Women's Lives. Governments, NGOs and other organizations across the globe observe the 8th of March every year as International Women's Day to highlight the achievements of women. President Ramnath Kovin and Vice President M. Venkaya Naidu have extended greetings to all women on the eve of International Women's Day. In his message, Mr. Kovin said this is a day to recognize the contributions of women in different facets of life. He said women of the country have succeeded admirably in their endeavors, often in the face of formidable challenges. In his message, Vice President M. Venkaya Naidu said the economic Social and political empowerment of women should be given top priority to achieve rapid progress of the country. He said that people have to act collectively to raise awareness of discrimination of the girl child. Mr. Naidu said every household, neighborhood, school, institutions and community should start gender sensitization. All Manipur Women's Voluntary Association also observed International Women's Day at GM Hall today. The observance was held on the theme, Let Us Carry the Struggle Forward. Distinguished women personalities of different communities, including former Dean of Social Science, Manipur University, Professor Ketrimeyum Bimola, President of Poire Lemerol Mayra Paibi Apunba Manipur, El Memchobi, Advisor of Kuki Women Union Manipur, Professor Rose Mangshi Haukip, Vice President of Kabui Mother Association, Atom P. Kamei, Associate Professor, Department of Geography, Manipur College, Janatun Begum were among those who attended the function. The Women's Day observance called for equality of women in every field and to combat crime against women. Women's Studies Center and NSS Unit 1 and 2 also observed International Women's Day on the theme Time is Now, Rural and Urban Activists Transforming Women's Life at the Conference Hall of Eskula Women College at Nambol in Bishnupur District today. Speaking on the occasion, social activist Dhanabir Lajshram espoused for leaving behind narrow-mindedness and to take various measures to empower women and bring about equal development in the state.
Pawal also joined in observing International Women's Day today. Nawaz Sindam Sung in Thobal Khetri Laikai organized the observance. Speakers in the event emphasized on the roles and contributions of women folk in the past and at present. Gifts were presented to elderly women on the occasion. Manipur Pradesh Mahila Congress Committee distributed sanitary pads to women in connection with International Women's Day on the theme Time is Now Rural and Urban Activities Transforming Women's Life Today. A team led by President of Manipur Pradesh Mahila Congress Committee Loitongbam Tilotama under All India Mahila Congress Committee's Women Awareness and Access to Hygienic Menstrual Health distributed the sanitary pads to girl students of Kakwa Huidrom Laikai High School school and women in the locality. Prithibigi wai na numit asi mayam puna mag palan tau nari. Ano nga sige numit asi menstrual period si da yam na hygienic wai na nupi sing si na lai raga. Ado ga masha sing si pha na anay ek yaw da na lai raga matik cha ba nupi maril lai ba nupi mayam ama produce tau na bo ho na ba da Handa kita title ini cangsel lakpana mara mui dana aku ingat sih he nupi sing nama magi menstrual period lakpana matam da kamain tau dana haksen ngaksa gadegi hai bagi maram da ngat sih he aku ingat sanitation pet sih sih jen abagi kanaba amadi masina aku ingat haksang da apa apa pika da bapun nama tu agola iban angang sing sih ngat sih mafam sih da aku ingat am pun laga khana jawani gay ni gi problem de any problem lakpana aku ingat hangoi bola itu nana open discussion tau bi raga hak masa sih bukan nala ina nabagi dana makta anai ya yau dana bidang makta ngat sih puna makna Kangle Ima Loop Kill also observed the International Women's Day under the theme Press for Progress at the Community Hall of Yawa Club in Singjame Leishang Tem Lekai today. A free health camp was also conducted in connection with the observance. Three doctors and six nurses of Aikmi Fertility Hospital Palace Compound took part at the health camp, which provided free medical checkups on diseases which mostly affect women. President of KIL R.K. Sanahanbi, National National Awardee H. Ibotombi Kuman were among those present at the event. All India Trade Union Congress Manipur and All Manipur Nupi Marup also observed International Women's Day with the rest of the world today. Daily wage earning women and women leaders of various organizations took part in the event held at Manipur Press Club. Taking part in the event, ex-minister Dr. Morangtem Nara asserted that the mere calling out for upliftment of women will do no good. He maintained that women folks should be treated at par with the men in the society. Socialist Students Union of Manipur and Manipur Rotary People's Democratic Union also observed the day at Manipur Press Club. Pulak pun nak tengok mana bagi wakil kita observasi sistem ini. Adunah, aku ini kami ini nupi simbu hari ke antara hari ini se social activity ke asal nupi nama jin thapu yorpa nupi sanstan jin sistem itu nupi nak waktu ini apa destroy ke? As the world celebrates International Women's Day today, let us find out what the people in the state, especially the women folks, have to say. I'm bringing you an exclusive report in this regard with camera person Bishorjit Namirakpam. Ujikan je world ni, ini world war ini woman empowerment, ana nupi singgah sakti, people right, people adu kumpa mayam sama tu tau ribas itu ista, mama, mother respect thambam, tokpa bebar thamba adu mayam si ju si si ni marah mui raga mui dah gian tahan biraga society si ki men sing men sing si ni ju nupi mada ujikan ki look down tau biri ba jad mangan biri ni kangga adu kumpa mayam si ju respect to ini thambi raga di handarak tu ini. Tunupi mui bagi nunglupa, adegi ikai kumna ba, adegi lamchat bebar, sih kumasin se 
mangak pada gigi ngasih di nupi se, amalom dan nakalam dan nathai de ebu ko, aduan adu gum bazir nathai de na, aku gigi nupi mat isah se nupi ni hai bagi wakhan se, nong matang orang sung hak tang orang sung ningjang ba. Nupi nupa sab manai kud manai mit manai sab manai thawai manai natri ne, adu de bo. Nupi nak keram benda nupa nak keram benda. Isu orang mana cem benda sab mana nak kay dok lupa jadi. Aikoi na cem benda ti isu na sab mana na layo palo hai na cem kerap ni na sab mana na wakhan dok budum ni. Nupi nong hai benda hari ni nong mana nong magi warak petani. Kemarin di kari kena hai benda. Adam misi mina ya lakukan apa angang satu izin si si benda apa tu kami ni sama ayah uzik nupa lagi kita dengan poyo lesin. Sabang am nangai, thong bang am nangai, isayok bang am nangai. Ah, koi nupi sing je hantar nanti ambil je. Amang je si am nangai je, tu ko. Amalan dah dia am tahu wang nanti tapi ada tu nunggu ayat, nunggu si S International dia gigi hai lagi dia, ah kahai tarik nupi je kerja hantar naya yang macam si nunggu ayat, nupi orang kasu kahai tarik moy moy gigi apa macam tu tuh tau hantar bila kerja am dia tau hantar dia, ada nunggu ayat, ada. Happy International Women's Day. Nupa kita orang orang tu orang tu lagi dia nupi nama sah nama sah mungkin tuh kita pun ni ada nama sah dan mah isu kita pun kita pun ni mana nama sah ni kerja ni look hole mah dia aswai bahagian lembut dan mina mahu nak kudung sah balor kan dia ba nama sah nama sah bu kudung sah ngah tuh sah kita pun ni ada nupa aku lagi cuma kau itu protect tu kita pun ni ni ada ni kos nupi nama kita dia maharau jadi saya tanda tampil bersih dah di nupi singgi oi pada ko apa apa tabak tanam tanam kita mesti support tau je ya mewang na Lay handingi, lay sulai di. Aduh mata kita patah patah handing diam tak. Apa apa sing sih, hujung mata anda nupa na tau ba, ngam da bersu nupi na meyang ngam meyang aduh sing duduk. As the state joins the world in observing International Women's Day, it is indeed rightful to admire and celebrate the strength of women, especially the women of the state, for their active role, right from Nupilal to their contributions in the field of socio-economic and political field. Even the governor of Manipur, Dr. Najma Habtullah, has rightly observed that women of the state and the entire Northeast are more empowered than the rest of the country. Country. With the camera person Bishorjit, this is Joyce Shugusham, Impact News, Infal. Now moving ahead, Vice President of Tangweban United Club declared that the 24-hour bunt in Tangweban constituency uh, since last night called against the killing of Tokchom Tony Elias Jagat from Nagamapal, Pawe Shangbam, in the intervening, who was killed in the intervening night of March 2 and 3 was withdrawn after the culprits involved in the killing of Tony with a double barrel were arrested by the police. A team of Imphal West Police Commando led by OCP Achoba under the supervision of SP Imphal West, IPS Temting Shangwe, including Lamphel Police, conducted massive operation from 3 to 7.30 this morning and arrested four culprits, including two transgender. The culprits are identified as Haubijam Dilip, alias Taibung Nganba from Bishnupur, currently residing at Lango Lai Manai. Sandam Tombi from Lango Lai Manai and the two transgenders are Basant and Sanatoy. Sandam Tombi was arrested from his residence at Lango Lai Manai around 3.30 this morning, while Dilip alias Taibung Nganba, Basant and Sanatoy were arrested from Bishnupur area around 5.30 in the morning. A grey colour I-10 car bearing registration number MN06 LA2316 was also seized from Tombi. The double barrel gun along with uh, four life rounds were also seized from the residence of Dilip at Lango Lai Manai. Police sources said Dilip Elias Taibanganba is a cadre of proscribed KCP, Taibanganba Group under SOO. Speaking to media persons, Speaking to media persons at 
a press meet at Nagamapal, Pawishang Bamlekai, Vice President of Tangmaiban United Club Pratap announced the withdrawal of the bunt after the police made the arrest. He also stated that the post mortem will be conducted today. However, the death body will not be taken until an agreement is reached after submitting a memorandum to the Chief Minister. Pratap also announced that the club will hand over one lakh cash awards to the police as promised by the club to be awarded to anyone who can find out the truth behind the killing. Chief Minister Masamak Ujik Nagalenda Sakhi Bamaramna Mahak Hek Halak Paga Ekoina Shemgi the Memorandum of Piraga Chief Minister Gayana Raganda Ashiba Masalo Bahaiba Uji Ujiki Uina Adubogi Lere Suda Labour Amani Kapa Mibun Fasi Mamunda Gamena Lanches Pibani KCP the Suda Labour in the Magi Protect on Narabagi Protection Pina without the Mamunda Magi Guard Uina two thousand sixteen the Magi Lanches Pibane Adurgadi Gamena Koyi Suda Yana Ribala Lobo Group Amagi Mi Amaga Tam Taduga Lai Manai Chingtam Apunba Loop today resolved to expel the families of alleged culprits involved in the murder of TH Tony, namely H. Dilip and S. Tombi from Blango Lai Manai from the locality and wants the families to evict within five days. Addressing media persons at a press meet held at Lai Manai Apunba Nupi Loop office, Lai Manai, convener of the organization Aking Gangmei stated that the resolution was taken against incitement of antisocial activities in the locality. He said the family members of H. Dilip Elias Taibanganba residing at Lai Manai, Mayai Lekai, has been inflicting terrors to the localities, but due to fear of their aggressions, the localities maintained silence. He continued that the family of S. Tombi residing at Namtalong Part 2, Lango Lai Manai, is involved in making and sale of country liquors and gambling, and they failed to pay any heed to the repeated warnings of the people in the locality. He asserted that the recent incident have brought shame to the locality. ไฮเบอร์มีสีนักศึกษานักเตะลหันมาใครสู้เลยก็ไอ้ด่านงไม่กลับปะขัดหน้าใส่หน้าบัตรทุกปะอาตัวก็อิมุงปลัดทุกระ
हाँ इसी से चेलम पन खोटप अमी क्या लेद मानद्रे अहम तुरं खुमानद साजलीब अखो संगना पल्ल इसी के तुम ले हजल अखोट हो हेन नुगदी तुरं हजी ले तुरं से मनुसी खतं कोटी अमे नुगद्रा खल मैम सूमाय मोटाजे अंताजेब अब तुम दे खनजे को खुनू खत कोटीब अखोई खबरदी खुन कोट पाए यौगीको असंगी खुन कोटी कई पाकद्रा खल रिपेयरिंग ऑफ रिवर बैंक एंड इविशन ऑफ द इनक्रोस टू द रिवर बैंक इस पर्फ द मोस्ट अवेटेड ड्रीम्स ऑफ द पीपल ऑफ मनीपुर and also the government has started their repairing works of the river banks and also the evictions of encroachers has started from today but the main concern here is is the government will finish their repairing works before this monsoon season with camera person bumeshwar sharma this is kitamayu premsan impact news in far rd and pr minister th biswajit opines that good roadways and bridges are inevitable in the path of industrialization and that investors from outside will cease to sanction funds if the condition of the roads are deplorable the minister made this statement at the inauguration of 170 feet long bailey bridge at kanto yumnam kuno to sinam kom road nh 150 to Naran Sena Maning Road, Wangjing to Hairok Part One and Two Road, and from Palel to Mantak Road. MLA Moirang, P Sarachandra, MLA Kakching Y Surachandra, MLA Sekma H Dingo, Principal Secretary of RD and PR M H Khan, Chief Engineers and Chief Officers of the Department were among those present at the inaugural function. The construction of the Bailey Bridge was initiated since September 2014 and completed on the 10th of April 2017. under package number MN0538 phase 8 of the engineering department at an estimated cost of 2.05 crore rupees the construction of yumnam kuno to sinam kom road started on october 27 2016 and completed on 27th october 2017 under package number MN0 443 phase 10 with a 1.15 crore rupees National Highway 150 to Naransena Maning Road was constructed under package number MN0139 phase 10 on the 28th of July 2016 and completed on June 3 2017 with an estimated project cost of 2.17 crore rupees construction of Wangjing to Hairok Part 1 and 2 road under package number MN08 56 phase 10 started on January 4 2016 and completed on February 21 this year with a project estimated cost of 1.86 crore rupees and Palel to Mantak Road under package number MN0881 phase 10 started its construction on the 6th of August 2015 and completed on the 7th of February this year with a project cost of 5.43 crore rupees Taking the opportunity of the inauguration ceremony the people of the locality submitted a memorandum to the minister MLA Y Surachandra expressed that it is high time to focus on maintaining the quality of any developmental works and opines that it would be inappropriate to submit a tender below the scheduled rate P Surachandra also stated that nothing is unachievable with the joint efforts of people and scientific technology and further appeals to the people for cooperation in future projects RDNPR minister TH Biswajit appeals to the engineers on site to motivate the contractors in maintaining the quality of their works and asserted that good quality materials are essential he further opines that it would be more advantageous if the contractor buy the bitumen which is directly imported from arab countries through a stockist Now it's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring you news on Ifurio becoming the new Chief Minister of Nagaland today. Keep watching Impact News. Welcome back. You're watching Prime Time English News.
Nifurio has sworn in as the Chief Minister of Nagaland today. Governor P.B. Acharya administered the order of office and secrecy to the NDPP leader and his council of ministers at the Kohima local ground this morning. The NDPP BJP Alliance government is being formed under the banner of People's Democratic Alliance. Union Home Minister Rajnath Singh, BJP National President Amit Shah and Party General Secretary Ram Madhav were among those present at the swearing-in ceremony. Meghalaya's newly appointed Chief Minister Konrad Sangma and his counterparts from Arunachal Pradesh, Assam and Manipur were also present at the ceremony. The governor had earlier asked Mr. Rio to prove his majority on the floor of the House on or before the 16th of this month. NPF leader T.R. Zeliang had resigned as the Chief Minister on Tuesday. Yesterday, the National People's Party withdrew its support to the NDPP BJP Alliance. The NPP had contested the state election Elections in alliance with the Naga People's Front (NPF), but after the declaration of the results on March 3, it had decided to support the NDPP-BJP alliance. The BJP had pulled out of an alliance with the NPF and chose to ally with Mr. Rio's new party. Mr. Rio said the alliance would be called the People's Democratic Alliance. For the first time in Nagaland, the swearing-in ceremony was held outside the Raj Bhavan. This time, the state invited the common people to the ceremony through newspaper advertisements issued by the State Department of Information and Public Relations. The swearing-in ceremonies in the state have so far been high-profile shows at the Darbar Hall of Raj Bhavan with VVIPs and VIPs and top bureaucrats in attendance. It may be mentioned that this will be Niforio's fourth time as the Chief Minister of Nagaland. Mr. Rio was the Chief Minister of Nagaland for three terms between 2003 and 2014, making him the only Nagaland Chief Minister to have served three consecutive terms. All Manipur Art and Culture Government Employees Association once again protested against the appointment of an MCS IS officer for the post of Director of Directorate of Art and Culture Department today. The sit-in participated by art lovers, teachers, students and artists was held in front of the gate of Manipur University of Culture in Palace Compound. Taking part in the sit-in, Lifetime Secretary of Manipur State Shumanglila Council and awardee of State Kala Academy. Saurak Hemanta asserted that the department will develop only when it is led by someone expert in the field of arts and culture. Egi culture ki hoyta kadi lau shingu bude thawa ya wo mi kudi magna ekhoi ki agri department the employee wo erkan di culture sauka kadong nea. Sport kisu sport department da ya amna sport ta sana khona bade ya amna thawa ya wo mi jingna shemkala kada nea sport department da asumba corruption leroi doish. Aduna culture ki phil sezu ekhoi culture department se ekhoi culture ta wo mi no wo hence ningi hai ba. Pamang na kai togi ki aji yeng dana kuchhi ano bamba shemkar pate ya roy. Culture department se da laaki bo wazasing director wo gibe sing secretary wo gibe sing yeng bio mukhi jing dana. Department asi ning 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 lau no siang kalau penting asi di siu era punya. Paisa siang sen kita kelaga, gua mana thasa bagi kita kelaga anda. Eku lagi mang raga tu bah culture gi statistics meam jing jing di. Eku ina bitre tu bah jufati. Eku culture tu train tu jara bah. Culture ni amna nai nazar bah. Culture gi tempat tu thawai culture bah. Atu mana specialize tu jara bah. Mana tu bah mana theater tu sini tu bah. Missing na eku lagi director. Aku ini leader sing orang macam tu, anda arah kerja di paham ini, maru tana, ekte mara tana, pasal ni hingbang kamu tu bunyi. Film Forum Manipur will organize the sixth annual music festival entitled the Music Video Festival Nongin Kumai 2018. A film forum Manipur in a press release notified that interested individuals can avail the entry forms and relevant information from the forum starting from the 12th of March till the 2nd of April. Large numbers of poppy plantations on different, different hill ranges of Chandal district estimated to be worth around 5 crore rupees were destroyed. A combined team of Chandal district police, NAB, 8 Manipur rifles, forest department, SDC, Kangjoy and 29 Assam rifles destroyed 82 acres of poppy plantation in the drive conducted from 6th of this month till yesterday.
Tributes were paid to the mortal remains of 27-year-old Abhijit Mondal, a sepoy of the 28 Rajpur rifle at Imphal International Airport today. Abhijit was killed in an unfortunate bomb blast at El Bongjoy village in Chandal district on the 6th of March around 3 p.m. in the afternoon while patrolling the area. Retired Lieutenant General and Chairman of MPSC K. Himalaya, Major General of GOC 57 Division V. K. Mishra, IG Brigadier of IGA South R.K. Singh, IG Zone 2 Kailun, CO of DIG BSF and 5 JNK Colonel Amit Bedi, Commander Brigadier of 9th Sector Amit Kaptial, Commander Brigadier of 26th Sector A.S. Chauhan, Cadres of 26th Rajput, Rajput Rifle, Assam Rifles, CRPF and high officials of the Indian Army attended the ceremony. The Sipoy Abhijit Mondal hailed from Panchdara village of Nadia district, West Bengal. The body of the Kader was transferred to his hometown for burial. It may be mentioned that three other personnel who were severely injured in the incident are currently admitted at Laimakong Military Hospital. As observed across the world, the World Kidney Day was also observed in the state. Community Health Center, CHC, Wangoi, observed the day on the theme Kidneys and Women's Health, Include Value and Power. Under the National Program for Prevention and Control of Cancer, Diabetes, CVDs and Stroke, at the whole of the center today. Speaking on the occasion, MLA Wangoi or Nam Lukhoi stated that steps are in place to bring an ambulance with essential life-saving drugs into service at the community health center soon. He expressed happiness at the standard of Wangoi CHC in comparison to other CHCs in the state. Lukhoi said, other than the lack of some specialists, OPD, gynecology ward and general ward of the center are fully functional. He asserted that patients from other parts of Taubal district also come to the center for medical treatments. The MLA also launched free kidney and liver function tests at the center on the occasion. Community health center on the community ambulance on the community operation center on the community. Sida sida specialist doctor se, sajan ki kari ki kari ki, semua bersih ki kita tang limited oleh bersih macam si yam dah bani na. Adu nanti ada district hospital sing sida, madu na mandatory oleh na. Adu onda posting sing si pih oleh na koi short oleh bodegi yang rotta bani. Adu na koi kisu ampuh cakar na su. Yang kan na doctor se, antuk three hundred lawu bodah qualify oleh dah na fifty ke three something kita tang oleh na qualify oleh dah na. Madu su kan na posting ta pih na na bukoh na na bukoh. Department of Nephrology, RIMS and Prosperous Manipur in association with the Department of, of Immunohematology and Blood Transfusion Medicine organized a blood donation camp come awareness program at RIMS Blood Bank in connection with the World Kidney Day today. The camp was held on the theme Kidneys and Women's Health Include Value and Power. 47 Mountain Unit Army Lemakong Medical Representatives, RIMS Students Union and Volunteers donated blood at the camp. Meanwhile, a kidney disease detection camp was also held as part of the program at Imakaitel Shed No. 1 from 2 p.m. till 5 p.m. Assistant Professor, Department of Nephrology, Rims Takelambam Brojan, on the occasion also announced that the Department of Nephrology, Rims will be opened twice in a week on every Tuesdays and Thursday, Thursdays from next week onwards. Pambasi nupida kari kari ki kidney ki ana ba si nupaga sangdam na pada hena laybra adu ga layra budi mukhoi singa adu ki ngakthok na ba kari kari togni hai budu adu ki maramda awareness pi na budi mukta pithibi ki mukham puna mukta togbak campaign nama ni masi kisse kidney detection kidney disease detection program amaga togjari madu dai koi na ima mayam adu ki koi ki blood sugar amasu Urin kita test atau dengan mukoi dah kidney dan narak paya bagi sains lebih berah, hai betul ye, nampi dengan kita program macam ini sendiri. 
Attendee Mega Health Mela organized by Kangle Nataina Loop Ayurvedic Oshadleya kicked off at its office at Yumnam Huidrom today. The Health Mela is providing orthopedic and gynae related free health checkups and free BP, BMI estimation, blood tests, and ECG tests, etc. A poster exhibition for students under the theme Balanced Diet and Personal Hygiene was also held on the occasion. An embroidery and tailoring training center was also inaugurated at KNNLAO office as part of the opening event of the Health Mela. The 8th death anniversary of founder president of Bharatiya Janata Party Manipur Pradesh Laimayum Raghumani was observed at Laimayum Mandop in Nagamapal Kwai Brahmapur today. The memorial observance was organized by the trust established in memory of late Laimayum Raghumani and his family members. Speaking at the memorial observance as a chief guest, Education Minister T.H. Radesham opined that if everyone have sincere faith and trust in their God, there will be no desire for any misconducts. He asserted that all religion calls for the right path and not the wrong path. Radesham stressed that following the right path would ensure not only peace in the society but fasten its pace for development. The minister lauded late Laimayum Raghumani for all his contributions and maintains that his efforts paid off with the ruling of the BJP-led government in the state at present. He revered L. Raghumani for his active role as the BJP leader during the 80s and lauded all the deceased leaders of BJP on the occasion. Radesham also suggested putting up portraits of all the late leaders of the BJP at the party's office in reverence to them. Leaders of BJP Manipur Pradesh, members of Mahila Morcha and many people paid floral tributes at the portrait of the leader on the occasion. <laughs> organize <laughs> PhD Minister Losi Diko inspected the water supply scheme at Yaripo in Wangkem constituency in Thobal district today. MLA of the constituency K. Meghachandra also accompanied the minister in the inspection visit. Speaking to media persons, the minister said the steps will be taken to complete the construction of the water supply scheme and hand over to the people at the earliest. Bosem in a press release notified that 17 students from different centers who were caught using unfair means during the HSLC examinations are debarred from further examinations. Bishnupur District Administration felicitated women weightlifters of Utlo Sai SAG in Bishnupur District who backed several medals at Kelo India in connection with International Women's Day at the Conference Hall of Mini Secretariat DC blog today. Speaking on the occasion, Deputy Commissioner of the District Pavan Yadav asserted that the men folk must respect the women folk in every field. He appealed to all to shun self-centered ideas and work for an equal development. Now before we end, let's take a look at the headlines once again. Manipur observes International Women's Day today. Governor Najma Abdullah finds North East women more empowered than the rest of the country. Chief Minister Birin applauds women of the state for their contributions on International Women's Day. A team of Imphal West police arrest four culprits involved in the killing of Tokchom Tony Elias Jagger early this morning. 
Authorities concerned of the state government demolish illegal constructions along Imphal riverbanks today. And RDNPR Minister T.H. Biswajit inaugurates a Bailey Bridge and four roads today.